Hi everybody, welcome to Sharon's Home and Garden Channel. So today we're going to do harvesting. I have been on vacation for a week and even though I harvested before I left, I still have a lot of harvesting to do. And that is what we are going to do today. So I'll see you in 30 seconds. Okay, long sleeve shirt because I'm picky cucumbers and I get like tons of little scratches on my arms when I pick. So I always put a long sleeve shirt when I pick cucumbers and zucchinis because they are vicious on my arms. So I did pick all these, right here are pickles. I did pick them before I went on vacation, but they grow really fast and we had a couple of really good rainstorms. So cucumbers grow really fast. I mean, they can be that big one day and, you know, out of control in a couple more days. So the hard part about cucumbers is figuring out where they are. I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down. So a lot of them are this size. This is really, if you like the really big pickles, which I do, these are really good. two zucchinis in here. There's one. There's another one. I usually like to pick them this size instead of this size. But they all make zoodles really well. monster in here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Next thing to harvest is the ground cherries. There you go. Not as many as I thought there would be, but I harvested a ton of them before I went on vacation. So that's pretty good. I still have some left. You wanna harvest the ones not just on the ground, but sometimes they get stuck in the plant when they fall. Next, I'm gonna harvest my tomatoes. I've got a basket for the big ones and a basket for the smaller ones. This is a pink ox heart. Looks pretty good. Only one little tiny crack down the side here. This one was a fused blossom. I usually pick those off, but every once in a while you miss one. This is Golden Girl. These are all beautiful. We've had a lot of rain and not one split. They're just perfect tomatoes. These are German lunchbox. Now I'm picking some that are, picking all that are ripe and some that are not quite ripe. These were developed 
to as a snacking tomato to put in your lunches. They're supposed to be about the size of the egg. Last year they were a little bigger. This year they're a little smaller, but they are very delicious. These are green vernissage. Again, another really good non-cracking tomato. If you're looking for a tomato, that smaller tomato that doesn't crack, I recommend these. Now, how do you tell if they're ripe? Because they're green. Well, they start turning a little opaque. You see that? And they're soft. They just give a little bit. That's how you know they're ripe. These are blue cream. Almost every single one of them is split. So out of that whole handful, and some of these aren't quite ripe. Out of that whole handful, this is how many I got. So, if you want to grow these, this one's just about to split too. If you want to grow these, pick them before it rains. Because you won't get to pick them after it rains. These are atomic grape. Now some of them have split. There's one here that's split. Actually, I had two out of the bunch I picked. Look at the coloration on that. So that one, I'll throw that out later. These are bigger this year than I had last year. The ones last year were smaller but more colorful. These ones are bigger, less colorful. So since they're, hy they're hybrid, you never know what you're going to get. Okay, last basket. So I have sun gold, yellow pear, and white cherries, which are really kind of yellow. Now, the white cherries, about 10% of these are split. These yellow plum, if I can figure out which ones I planted, I will put the name up here. Because plum tomatoes are notorious for splitting, and these ones are, I, do, I think I only had one split one out of all the ones, and this one's got some bug damage, but none of them are split. The sun golds, these, I had a lot of split ones, a lot of split ones, but I should have picked them last week before I went on vacation. So I still have quite a few. Not a pretty basket. Here is today's harvest. So we got quite a few pickles here. And I have two of them that will be good for saving seeds. I got my very first green apple cucumber. It should be good. Got some more of these. These are called piccolino. So I'm not going to save the seeds from these because they're a hybrid. Here's another straight eight. Very smooth skin. This piccolino is a little big. Be interesting if you save the seeds what you would get. But I don't have that kind of garden space. So nice haul of cucumbers. What do you think of my new harvest basket? I got that up at the flea market when I was up north. A couple regular size zucchini and one monster. And here I have some brown cherries. And I did harvest my little currant tomatoes. I forgot to show you those. These are salad sized tomatoes. Then our cherry tomatoes. And then our bigger tomatoes. These I will save for sauce. And then I harvested some peppers 
These are the Hungarian black. And this was the Corbacci. And the Jimmy Nardello. All in all, a pretty good day in the garden. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you like what you saw here, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. And until next time, happy gardening, everybody. Bye-bye.